Howdy, this is PJ. And I'm Jay. We are your ABE TV anchors. Today is Friday, February 8th, and it is a C5 day for special areas. We have two birthdays today. Happy birthday to Lucy Minnick and Cameron Ruslink. We also want to wish a happy half birthday to Jacob Brown, Caden DeLam, Pablo Gonzalez, and Gilbert Ruslink. Over the weekend, Cameron Williams, Christian Kellum, and A.J. Tubbs will have their birthdays. The half birthdays this weekend are Philip Larreras and Aiden Lynch. Happy birthday, everybody! Be sure to head down to the office after the show for your birthday pencil and have a fantastic day. Did you know that your heart beats about 100,000 times in one day and about 35 million times in one year? Whoa, I didn't know that. That's a lot of beating. Student Council is having a Valentine's Day sale. Really? Yes, they are selling Hershey's Kisses for 25 cents and Heart Suckers for a dollar. They will be sold at lunch and will be delivered on Valentine's Day. All the proceeds will go toward building wells in third world countries. That's awesome. I'm definitely going to buy some. Me too. Today's lunch entrees will be popcorn chicken with their roll or a corn dog. The sides will be California blend vegetables, sweet potatoes, and assorted fruits and juices. The joke of the day is from Ava in Mrs. Swanson's class. Why did the strawberry like the banana? Why? Because he was very appealing. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Ava. Keep those jokes coming. Today's pledge leaders are from Mr. Holtz's class. Take it away, pledge leaders. Hi, I'm Brooklyn. Hi, I'm Rachel. Hi, I'm Trey. Hey, I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Tim. What's up, I'm Tegan. Please, Please rise, rise for, for the Pledge of Allegiance. Of I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Our Did You Know fact for today is on February 8th, 1922. President Warren G. Harding had a radio installed in the White House. Radio was the hottest technology out there in the 1920s and 30s. People gathered around their radios to listen to programs or the latest news. President Harding was the first president to broadcast a message over the radio. In 1933, President Roosevelt delivered regular updates to the public known as First Side Chats. Thanks for watching ABE TV. This is PJ. And this is Jay saying please take a moment of silence and have a great weekend.